You must all press um, cut it on your uh, recording. All right. Let me see what time is it. Mm. All right. This is I'm opening up before my first quickly speaker. <laughs> I'm opening it up uh, for this two day uh, retreat. It's called um, self pleasure. The food of the soul, the quick dance sense to create enlightened relationships. You, you can just breathe in and out from your heart, connect with your soul's light, see it beaming, beaming, beaming. I'm trying to have my eyes open to see if uh, you know, guests are coming, so I want to miss them. <laughs> Just see it beaming, beaming, beaming. I am putting us into the unified heart field of Sophia Christ Consciousness, Christo Sophia, unconditional love. For what it wants to come through each speaker, somebody is coming, each speaker in this queenly, enlightened, pleasurable container and speak through their heart, through their gifts for everybody to have an, an unforgettable experience in in their inner soul it's i'm calling i uh, hear in the inner soul pleasure the pleasure within mm. and yes you can open your eyes and uh, I will announce soon my first, my first speaker. What they have to share in this two days container. Because self-pleasure, it is who you are. Pleasure, it is who you are. Self-pleasure is to bring awareness and create the space within you. It is to honoring the body. It is to embody your soul's light in the body. And I will speak more uh, when my my speech is, is up because it's all about... Um, the love, the Christ love, the light, that it's you with your body, with your feminine creation. This feminine vessel with your love, feminine and masculine. For me, this is the self-pleasure, the unification of feminine creation and unconditional love, Christ love, soul's light, kingdom, kingdom love, to create enlightened relationships. This is all, it's devoted to divine relationships within ourselves within yourselves and uh, with your beloved either if you are in a relationship
relationship or you want to manifest so this is this is also a great place to be here as i will dive deep later all right so let me see in a minute i will announce my first speaker mm -hmm. just let me bring up the her bio okay my first speaker queenly speaker and it's my honor it's alexia Vlakos Kolokasivis, which is already in the room with us. Let me see. Yes. Yes. All right. Alexia is the CEO and founder, founder of Ripple Effect, a fast growing coaching business that she created while working from home as a mom to two young kids. She's an intuitive, transformational, soul journey coach for women, light worker, heart activator, and code keeper. She helps cautious women realign to their souls, design and embody their truest power to live their authentic, somebody, sorry, Mariana is coming to live their authentic purpose. She activates women's hearts, which realizes organic healing, growth and expansion on all levels. When Alexia was in corporate for 15 years and pregnant with her second child, when she made one of the biggest and scariest decision of her life to follow her calling and her, her spiritual evolution. Through a vision, in a dream, she received the instruction of what she now calls her life's purpose. It is her deepest desire to ignite the hearts of millions of women to think up with their soul and become the co-creator of their most powerful vision for their life. Um, it's a lot and I cannot go through all of them. Alexia believes that every woman has the potential and in fact is required to harness and live a soul-filled successful life while being in her essence. She shows women how to live in sync with their soul. Beautiful Alexia Black Blackos Kolokasivis. Yes. Yeah, you welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, Tavama. It's yeah. great to be here. I will put you on spot. It's great to have you. And you're my first <laughs> opening speaker. That's great. Yeah. Thank you. And you look amazing. Thank you. So do you. So do you. Thank you for this container. Um, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, I will go through. Let me see where I put my question. Oh, here. You will have the floor to speak, <laughs> but first I will ask all of the speakers the first question. Mm -hmm. When you hear the word self-pleasure, what it means for you through your gifts and how it feels in your body? Mm. Self-pleasure, yeah. Um, it, it's a very energetic notion for me. Um, for me, self-pleasure means 
Well, actually, as I was thinking about this today, before coming on to this beautiful um, retreat, I realized that most people are in pursuit of pleasure, but at the avoidance of pain, right? And I've realized over the years that we, we don't actually really achieve true pleasure by avoiding our pain. Um, and it's through, in my experience, it's through really, really, you know, coming face to face with your fears, coming face to face with your pain, coming face to face with, with your challenges that opens up the portals for you for real, authentic, true soul pleasure. And, and I mean that in the most physical and emotional and energetic way. Um, so self-pleasure is, is the pursuit of healing my past for me. It's the pursuit of um, discovering what really, really, you know, touches my soul, what really brings me deep into that overwhelming joy and overwhelming peace. And it could be many things. And it can come on as, you know, unexpected as anything, you know, a moment of pleasure, a moment of self-pleasure, a moment of self-love, um, where I choose to... Um, this, ha this has been happening a lot lately where I notice where um, I might be in my masculine overdrive and I choose, you know, to step out of that and move into the feminine and maybe go for a swim or maybe go and sit out in the sun and just receive beautiful um, light codes or just be present with my kids, you know, and even that is sometimes hard being present with the children at, in the home, you know, when you're running a business, sometimes that's challenging. But for me, putting the, coming face to face with the challenges and the pain and the fears and working through those portals and shifting through those, those portals, I think that will bring you to, that is actually the journey to ultimate um, self-pleasure and soul pleasure and, um, that soul, that inner deeper soul journey. And you asked, how does it feel in my body? Um, my body feels awake. My body feels um, electrified. It feels in harmony. It feels in, you know, heat, the fire. That the fire of self pleasure, the fire of giving, giving to self, the the fire of loving self, and for many people that's hard. You know, it's still hard to do that, um, and that's why we're here. That's why we're doing this. The work that we're doing is to show that this is our natural. This is our nature. It's our, our nature to love. It's in our nature to love ourselves. That we are able to give to others unconditionally without needing anything back in return. Does that answer your question? Yes, Alexia. <laughs> I, love, I love the way that um, you describe as we, um, I, lo I love what you said about um, it's like not avoid the pain and go through the pain. Yeah. Yeah. So for me as a mom, just I give I'll give a quick example of how my own avoidance was causing me pain and then that became a portal for me. Um when my firstborn, he's nine now, when my firstborn was six months old, I was fully breastfeeding. And as a first time mom, I had a lot of expectations on myself and I was, I really wanted everything to be perfect. You know, the, the breastfeeding, the home, home cooked foods, nothing store-bought, everything, you know, made from scratch and, and all that, you know, stuff. And it was wonderful, but of course it was an extra, extra pressure of doing that. And by six months, when he was six months, I had developed a very, very bad tendonitis in my thumb. 
and even like my wrist bone had calcified so much that there was like almost it looked like there was an extra bone like sticking out and doctors the doctors that I had visited they were all recommending surgery the medical term for this was the Cobain syndrome but it, they also call it mommy thumb and the reason why it happens is because we, we, when we pick up our babies, we pick them up from, you know, with our fingers like that and under the shoulders and then the weight of the baby is just like pulling and extending on the thumbs like that. So obviously I was picking up my child and obviously you don't think twice about how you're going to pick up your child when you pick up your baby or if your thumb is in the correct way. So anatomically speaking, I had no clue what I was doing right or wrong, you know, with my hands. But energetically, um, my body was actually showing me that, you know, you need to ask for some help. You need to get some, you need to, you know, pull in the reins a bit, stop trying to do everything by yourself, stop being, stop focusing on having everything perfect because it wasn't a coincidence that it came up on my hands. So I take everything like in parallels. I always try and see the parallel message that's happening in my life and in my body and how my body speaks to me. And I couldn't pick up my child. By that time, I couldn't work. I couldn't go to work. I was working in corporate for 15 years. I couldn't type. So I had taken leave from work. And that was getting also a bit um, difficult because they were questioning, you know, how can you not come to work for so long for just like a, a you know, pain in your wrist? Well, for them, it was just a pain in the wrist, but it was excruciating. Um, even in the shower, when I would like bath and, and just wash my body, even the touch of the sponge on my arm would cause me pain. And it was really, really a hard time because not being able to pick up your child and being physically um, debilitated was, was really hard to you know, take in. And then when the doctors were telling me, you know, you can, you know, you can do surgery, it's, it's, a, it's a procedure, it's a normal procedure, it's very simple. And I was like, no, 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 no. I created this. I get to heal this. There's no way that I'm going to put my body under a knife for this particularly because I know that it was energetic and emotional. Um, and that night, well, one of those nights, I, I called a friend of mine and she, she's a colleague, she's a coach, very, very dear friend of mine. And we did our coach training together back in 2011 in Dubai. And I asked her, look, can you can you help me? Can you do a technique with me over the phone? Because I know this is something that I created. And we had a beautiful conversation on the phone and she was asking me all the right questions. And we did a technique um, over the phone. And then that night I went to bed and my, my son woke up at some point in the middle of the night. And I mean, he was only six months old. Um, so I went, I woke up and I went to him, I picked him up and I, I soothed him, I put him back to bed and I went back to my bed. And as I laid my head on the pillow, I, I realized I didn't have any pain when I had gone to pick him up. And I have, a, I have an iguana of Jesus Christ near my bed. And I just cried. I just cried and cried and cried tears because I was overwhelmed with, you know, the realization that something had shifted, something had shifted and my healing had started. Um, and then from that morning when I woke that next day, things were different. You know how you just know things are different. Something's shifted. Um, and my, my hand slowly, slowly healed. But it was because of the release and, an, and the realization of, you know, me trying to do it all. Me trying to, me, me taking on that role as the mother, as the wife, as the, you know, the woman in the house. You know, all those roles that we take on as women. And it's, it's paradigms that have just been like, they're in society and we choose them, but we choose them unconsciously because we think that this is the right way to do things. And then your body speaks to you and you get to heal. So that was one of my massive realizations of the moving through the pain body and having, for me, that is one example of self-pleasure because I discovered a deeper part of me that wasn't being fulfilled. And I was trying to fulfill myself in other ways, you know, by being perfect, by being the perfect mother, the perfect wife, the, you know, all those titles of society. And somehow I, ha I had lost me in such a short time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you for sharing your story. It's yeah. So touching. Uh, I know many of us um, who went uh, in a phase like this in our lives with uh, transform pain to yeah. um, to love, 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 unconditional love. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So touching your your story. Let me because of the time. Let me mm -hmm. go to the second question. Um, please share your gifts in this queenly, pleasurable container for the nourishment of the soul. You can share two, three ways that the audience can benefit from your gifts and find pleasure within to create enlightened relationship mm. okay so when you share enlightened relationship immediately what comes to me is that first enlightened relationship with you know with your soul with your heart and with your with your own light so that's where it gets to start i think um so as, as you read in my bio, I am a code keeper and a heart activator. And one of the, <laughs> my journey, my purpose, my passion actually became a realization to me a couple of, just a couple of years ago, um, where I was shown that I'm a, um, a code keeper of the resurrected light, if I can put it that way. So that Christ consciousness that relationship with the unconditional love that exists for everybody. Um, and I think when we are able to tap into that unconditional love on a very personal level, giving, being able to give that to ourselves and to receive that from others and to give that to others, that opens up so many other portals in every single area of our lives, including business, including wealth, including abundance. Um, and also, Tavama, another piece I think is forgiveness. Um, I think abundance and pleasure and you know, soul, the soul connection we talk about, if we aren't able to forgive, we sort of we're really, really blocking that flow. So Radical forgiveness for me is a really, really big piece. Um, and through, through um, powerful activations, heart activations, I guide my clients to connecting with their soul's life, to expanding their soul life body and becoming more of their soul life body so that they're able to experience the unconditional love energetically and recalibrate into that energy and then become that. So it start, really starts energetically and then slowly, you know, the mind begins to switch and starts making decisions based on this higher energy, based on, you know, what, what feels different inside. Um, because if we're functioning connected with our soul life body, you're functioning in, the, in a different matrix. You're literally in a different matrix than in the fear matrix that most of the world is in right now. So some, some things that happen in your life when you're living this way is that you find yourself. You find yourself, your true self and your authentic self. And, and you have that knowing of who that authentic self is, what your true values are, what your truth is. And you gain a confidence of being able to share what that is. And nothing, nothing actually can sway you. Nothing can sway you as you're anchored and rooted into your soul light body and into the earth's ascended body. Um, one of my clients shared with me the other day that she's just experiencing an overwhelming peace. And she said, can somebody have overwhelming peace? <laughs> and I said, of course you can. Of course you can. This is the depths of what we are able to experience when we are connected with our soul. Imagine a mom who has overwhelming peace in her heart. You know, how things change in the home. 
right? Um, you, say, you say that, Alexia, and I, I just lit up with overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> You're transmitted in that. Um, I don't know if you, um, you, before you continue, I mean, I don't know if you will have time to take us in a short, maybe five minutes, uh, or, or in a short meditation, or, or maybe um, we, we can time. Yeah, uh, if you want to finish your speech, okay. Um, then we'll do you... we'll do a five five minute quick activation. Yeah, uh, light it up. You have, uh, you have like uh, twenty more minutes. So okay, plenty of time. Okay, all right. So. So I just wanted to touch on, on some of the experiences that are possible because of, through living this way. So um, you find yourself, you discover a deep soul connection with, with who you are. Um, you, you discover, so you discover that you're not bound by time. Time becomes infinite. Time becomes like something that you get to play with and that you get to bend and mold to your desire. Okay, and I think you've experienced this before, Talama, how you just speed up time, how you can just slow time right up. Um, it's, it's really, really uh, amazing living this way and living in the, in the connection of your soul, light body in this higher matrix that we can choose to live in. Um, of course, you are connected to your divine intuition, which is what you get to be, what you get to trust, how you make your decisions, you know, and never, never second guessing yourself. So I imagine, I imagine a world where I work mostly with women. So I imagine a world where the woman, they're making the decisions just based on tapping in, feeling what's aligned with their, you know, their higher self, with their higher vision and making a decision based on that. So no, no um, fear-based decisions, no second guessing, no, oh my God, what if things don't work out and, and um, you know, all of that, just making a decision and moving forward. Um, overwhelming peace, overwhelming joy, the, that unconditional love that you get to receive as a downpour in all of your life, in all of your life, in all of your body, being able to um, transfer that to your children, to the people in your life. Literally transfer it and also, you know, being that unconditional love in their lives. And I'm not saying um, that I'm perfect, right? I'm not saying that there's no ups and downs or there's no challenges or there's no polarity. There is. There's, I think, <laughs> I think the more we shift into this way of living i think we see even more polarity because we just get we, we we're able to see more and we see more polarity and we able to choose you know what consciousness we want to stay in so there's still polarity and that's okay um you also get to embody the i am presence in your life you know, the God, that your own God presence, your I am essence, because we all came from the I am, we all came from source, we all came from that divine white light. So you get to learn how to embody more of that divine white light within you and calibrate your body to that, calibrate yourself to that. And your, your thinking process, your neurology begins to hop on board, right? And then your frequency changes, of course. So you're also vibrating at a different frequency. And when we're doing that, you're on a different timeline. And when you're on a different timeline, you're meeting different people, you're experiencing your opportunities, you're in a different portal. So all this inner work is really, really, really so important. And, and um, it gets to be fun. It gets to be a beautiful journey. It gets to be um, an experience of self and expansion um, and also when I talk about intuition it's that you know you take 
you literally are able to take the I wouldn't say burden like you know you know when like you you want to make a decision and it just feels that you have the world on your shoulders you know the weight of the world on your shoulders when you're living connected to your soul light body and you're activated in your heart and you're connected to your I am presence and your higher self that weight on your shoulders actually you get to lift that off because you have support you have support and the decisions that you make get to be you know around what you receive from the guidance of the support that you have around you so it's not just you, you get to make a decision from the we, you know, we, you and your team of life, your team of support. It's not just, I have to make this decision. Mentally, yes, you have to make it, but you get to receive guidance around that. So that weight isn't so heavy on you. You have support. We always have support. Okay. And, um, you know, living this way, you you come to you come through stages you go through stages in your life and you you will be put through dokimasies as we call them in greek um challenges um tests in life that i believe truly have your highest intentions in mind and they are your catalyst to to expanding you even more that you receive more light. So every challenge I think is, has the potential for even bigger expansion for you to receive more light, okay? And that's, that's basically, you know, how I coach my clients and, you know, just in a, in a nutshell, um, being connected to their soul, being able to see the parallels that are being shown to them in the reality and in the inner world, and being able to connect to the intuition, notice the emotions, notice what their body is showing them, being in their body, not being a victim, and taking ownership of everything that's happening in their lives, taking ownership. Because when you can take ownership of it all, that's, that's where you're empowered, and that's where you have more choice. So juicy, Alexia. Thank you <laughs> so much yeah. to uh, absorb uh, the good things that we will have the recordings available for everybody for 72 hours. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, when you were speaking about the, the challenges, um, yeah, I find it also for, for myself that it's like, I see them as portals. If I resist, mm -hmm. uh, at first, let's say the reaction, uh oh, it's too overwhelming. Uh oh, oh no, I don't want this. And, and then I say, wow, wait a minute. There is something that I resist, and I'm sure it's my ego resist. Then yep. let me do it. Let me go through through that challenge and yes. hope that the release whatever it is, the fear, the overwhelm or whatever. Yeah. It's uh, but it's you 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 said so much and uh, yeah, with the Christ consciousness, the Christ of yeah. and uh, yeah, I'm I'm so resonating with that as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe that's why we have the same coach. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing's yeah. coincidence. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can uh, tell us how the, let me go to the third one, mm -hmm. how the audience can find you and or you have a free gift that you like to give. To the gift to the audience as well. Yes, um, I believe I've um, I've shared a free gift with you. I think it was the it was an activation on peace, abundance, and flow. I believe, and I, I'm not sure how your audience can get that free gift. I don't know if it's in um, 
if, if they're going to get it automatically through your email or if you'd like me to um, send it to you again, let me know. Is your audience going to get it by email? Yeah, by email. Okay. Yeah, um, I believe I didn't get that one. I got your website. Okay. But that I will I will send it through. I will send it through. Yeah. So there's an activation, yeah. There's an activation. Um I wonder why I didn't send that. I think we were busy changing the banner on that. Um, but it's an activation on abundance, peace, and flow. And it's really just um a guided activation on how you can immediately experience abundance, peace, and flow in your life. Um, yeah, and I get these downloads very often and I record them and they turn into activations for my clients and they're really, really powerful. Um, yeah, so if you like, we can do a mini activation now. We can yeah. do, okay. okay. Um, thank you so much, Alexia. Uh, I have done one activation uh, from you. I remember, I think it was last year. Yeah. It's so powerful. It was, it, it really opened me up. Good. Um, I remember it was confidence and kindness. Mm -hmm. and, yes, I remember. Yeah. Not, yeah. And again, it's the masculine and the feminine, the confidence, yeah. belief, the masculine, and, and the kindness. The, yes. I mean, in the court. yeah, that you have been activated within me last year when we um, had. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Thank you. Okay. And, uh, how the audience can find you? you okay. Are, through your link. Um, through my website. Um, also on Facebook with my my name as you see it and. Um, I've got an Instagram as well. My Instagram is Alexia's Ripple Effect. And yeah, basically that's where you can find me. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome. Okay. okay. Let me unmute myself, please. Everybody mm -hmm. unmute yourself. Okay, so we'll do an activation. Is there is there a particular intention you'd like to have for the container, Tabama? No, Alexia, go, go with from your gifts. Okay. Whatever you want to uh, okay. feed the, okay. the soul of this container, your, our soul. Thank okay. You. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So you just, let's close our eyes. Get comfortable and you can close your eyes and breathe into your heart. And just setting the intention that whatever comes through is exactly what is required for those who are here and for those who will see the recording in any time and space. Breathing into your heart. Breathing in right to the deepest center point of your heart and activating your heart lung. And breathing out through that same center point Allowing your breath to come in as beautiful waves ebbing in and ebbing out. Dropping in codes on the in-breath and releasing what doesn't need to be here right now. This is your time. So just immediately what's dropping in right now is the word freedom. Freedom, to see it at the middle of your heart. Big, bold freedom. Now, whatever that means for you, your heart now is being coded with freedom. Dropping in now are upgraded life codes of today, the 13th of August, a very, very special day. We're receiving new light frequencies today through, through the sun, through our trees, through our flowers. Those are dropping in now into your heart and see that word freedom just lighting up. 
see it lighting up with your souls light now. With each breath you take in, it just lights up brighter and brighter in your heart. So experiencing the freedom to love, to love yourself so deeply, so purely, so wildly, so fiercely, having the freedom to do that. It's in there, it's in your heart, own it. Having the freedom to voice your truth loudly, courageously. Keep breathing into your heart, keep seeing the word freedom just light up. And that light now is beginning to just enter all spaces in your body. It's dropping deep into your cellular level, the freedom. Freedom of unconditional love, freedom of truth, freedom of light. Light is free. You are a light being. Your whole body now filled with your soul's light frequency of freedom. Feel that. And that light continues to flow through the borders of your body out into the room around you. Recoding your space around you. There's a shift happening, I can feel it. And now I'd like to just extend this activation of freedom to the whole world. We get to do this together right now. So just imagine now we are together in, a, in this container. See yourself standing in a circle next to the person who's next to you. And we're, we're in a circle and at the center of the circle is Mother Earth. And we are generating this beautiful energy with our simultaneous breathing and our bodies charged with the light of freedom, with the light of love, with the light of truth. And now just beaming through your heart to the center crystal heart of the earth. Now together, flooding the earth now with this beautiful light, supporting mother earth and just, you know, just flooding it with the freedom codes, light codes, truth codes so that mother earth is flooded and we create an energetic shift. This is why we're here. This is why we're here. It is a personal level and it's a collective level. So just see how Mother Earth is receiving your light. So, so grateful. So, so grateful. And as Mother Earth's heart fills up with your light. She then pulsates out as a blessing to you and in gratitude, her upgraded love. So receive that now as waves of and pulses of love coming from the Earth's heart. So it's the upgraded crystalline ascended heart of Mother Earth. And just receive that into your heart and your whole being. This is unconditional love. It's a new tone of love and gratitude. And there's also a tone of forgiveness.
Mothers always forgive. Mother Earth forgives. And we get to, we get to stand up. We get to show up. Keep breathing into your heart. Now, as you receive that love and that light into your heart, just see it now channeling down through your solar plexus chakra, down through your um, sacral chakra, your root chakra, and just pouring down into the ground and rooting you into the physical earth. The grounding in. Feel it in your body. And there's multiple spirals now beginning to form around you. Golden spirals of light just beginning to form in the light field. It's as if there is a dance of light, a celebration of light. Just notice that, feel that on your skin. And as you continue breathing into your heart, just take, as we close this activation, you get to receive and function with this upgraded light from here on in. So just take three heart breaths in gratitude. And as you do that, I will thank our supporters, our guides, Jesus Christ, but with my guides and our team of light on the earth, planes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for always being here, always supporting, always loving. And you can start making your way back into the room. Keep breathing into your heart. And when you feel complete, you can open your eyes. Recording. Hi, Alexia, you're there. I'm here. Can you see me? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know who, who <laughs> left for a second. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for providing this container. Thank you, Talama. You're welcome, and thank you for the gift of all, all your gifts, but the gift of freedom mm, in this container. Yeah. I see the, your eyes is lit up, I see your soul is light. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, and thank you for mentioning that, uh, yeah, this is a very special divine feminine day yeah anchoring the the Christ light mm -hmm. in our bodies through the feminine sun yes and, uh, yes and uh, oh, you're welcome thank you i'm glad it's supported it's it's what i think it, it was a co-creation of everyone here <laughs> mm. so thank you for the energy you're welcome. You're welcome also. Nazaria said thank you to you. You have Yeah, thank you, Nazaria. You're welcome. Mm. So just I want to just share that you can do an activation as many times as you want, as many times as it's calling you. So when you will get this recording, I believe, from Talama, and you can you can do the activation as many times as you want. Okay. Cool. 
You're welcome, Patina. You're welcome, everybody. All right. Thank you, so Thank you so much. It was great seeing you all. Yes, yes. Have fun. I have I'm... to close the recording so I'll get separate before I announce.